What, what are you doing? Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, so today I am doing my two week update on this hair. Um, so for starters, this hair is really bomb. It's super silky. As you guys can see, like, do you guys see the luster of this? It's so nice. So I just wanted to, t um, like do basically a little pros and cons of this hair. So, um, before I even get started, I'm going to need you guys to make sure you subscribe to my channel because you're not about to be coming here, getting free content without subscribing to my channel. So, make sure you subscribe right below. Yep, take the time to do it right now. I'm waiting. Now, so, um, for starters, this hair is from Asteria Hair. Um, it's a straight lace front wig sorry to think about it a lace front wig 13 by 13 by 6 frontal um and the frontal is definitely shorter than the hair itself because the hair comes down to here but the frontal like stops like right here so yeah definitely know that the frontal is going to be shorter than the the hair itself um now what I really love about this hair is it's super silky. Um, the luster is really, really nice. It's super soft. And I haven't had any tangles and very minimal shedding. Like, very minimal shedding. Like, I have barely had any hair on the floor. Which is super because I hate when my hair sheds because everybody in my house bitches about it. So, yeah. I really love that it doesn't shed that like that. Um, what else? So, it's super shiny. Um, it bounces really good. And, um, yeah, so, now I want to get into the cons of this hair because, um, it's good hair, but there are definitely some cons. So, I don't know if you guys could tell. You probably can because my camera shows everything. Um, the frontal, I feel like they could have did better. Like, you see, like, I can see the white cast of the frontal, which I really hate. And if you guys see my last video, make sure you go check it out. Um, in my last video, I was saying how the Beauty Forever hair, their frontal was super clear. Like, it was like HD lace, and I don't even think I ordered HD lace. I ordered just a curly wig. But the lace was incredible. Like... I don't know, I just feel like they should have made the lace more transparent because I did order a transparent um, lace for the options. So, I definitely think that the lace was kind of a con. It's not super bad to where it's like I can't even like put my hair behind my ear or whatever. But, um, they definitely could have did better on the lace. Um, another con that I have about this hair, it does not curl. I tried everything. I don't know if I'm not curling it right. I mean, this is... I'm going to show you guys the curler because I still have the curler on. And this curler I got from Marshalls for like $14. It's by Hot Tools. It's still on, actually. It's by Hot Tools. And, um... Let me turn it off before I burn the house down. Um, it's really good... For like curling hair and I had it on the max heat which was 450 this hair would not curl like I mean right now it has like a little wave to it but as far as like holding a curl I don't know if it's because it's long too it is 28 inches so it's pretty long but um I honestly had to fight okay I had to fight this is not me I'm fighting for my life Yo, me with this I had to fight to get this hair to curl and then not only that I had to curl it and then hurry up spray it with my Sebastian spray okay um, I got this from Marshall's for like ten dollars let me let it focus so you guys can see this light is just blowing lines 
So I use this to spray it right after I curl it. And um, then I had to hurry up and put these flexi rods in and wrap them around the curls because the curls were not staying for nothing, guys. Like, I tried my hardest. I literally sat here for a good two hours trying to curl this hair, and this is as good as I got. Like, these little, you know, loose waves, I guess you could say. So, I mean, I tried. I tried. Um, I wanted to really like do a video curling this hair because I love to curl my hair and I always wanted to see like how big long hair would look curled. So that kind of upset me that it didn't curl the way I wanted it to but I mean the hair is still nice overall like it's super soft guys like it is so soft I love it like the luster you could just see like and you know how like I don't know when I go on Instagram and I'm like going on like like more luxury hair lines like Kendra's or uh, there was one I I don't I don't know oh yummy extensions yummy extension their hair looks really good and supposedly the hair comes from like Cambodia or something but besides the point the luster of that hair always looks so good and the prices make it seem like it's that good because it's like literally a thousand dollars for a wig but um this hair gives me like I paid I paid a rack for my hair to get done like vibes this is literally what it's given me. you and I look at my hair and be like oh she paid a hundred dollars for them bundles there's no way there's no way baby okay my hair looks good okay good of this hair besides the fact that it doesn't curl I wish they had this hair in a body wave better lace okay a body wave better lace um just because i know body wave usually curls i mean i don't know how their body wave is because i haven't ordered a body wave from them before but um this is my first time trying their hair and um i actually like it i really like it i just love how soft it is and how and you guys tell me in the comments does this hair look dark brown or black because i've been fighting with everybody for the past couple days about this because this hair looks black to me. Okay, it wasn't dyed. It wasn't dyed at all. I didn't have time. My hairstylist didn't have time to dye it. And this hair is just, it looks black to me. Tell me it doesn't look black. Maybe it's because of the lights. Tell me this hair doesn't look black. It looks black to me. So, um, I just wanted to drop by and give you guys this because I really think that when you're looking for hair, you have to look at, like, exactly what you want out of the hair i definitely should have looked at like the reviews as far as curling because i was really hoping to curl this hair i just don't really like wearing my hair straight all the time like, like i just feel like it frames my face too big to where my face looks chubbier than it actually is and i do have a chubby face and i feel like curls definitely make my face look more slender you know layers i just like that kind of stuff <laughs> besides that it's super good hair i definitely recommend you get it make sure you get it before um new year's eve because i believe there's a sale going on it's like 30 percent off so you could definitely get this on sale and um bitch who's telling me what i paid a rack for my hair period period so yes um, make sure that you definitely check out Asteria Hair. I will leave all the details for the hair below. Um, the look that I just did for my makeup, do you guys like it? I mean, it's kind of just like the soft glam thing that I just did, which is in another video. So go check that video out, which is before this video. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better. If you guys know, you guys know that I don't know nothing about makeup, so... I am slowly getting better. I hope that I can give you guys more content with some different eyeshadow looks because I only can do like neutral colors right now. I don't think I could actually bring myself to like put like a bright color on my eyes yet. And I have so many palettes. Let me show you guys how many palettes. I have this palette from Anastasia Subculture. I have Soul Tree. I have... Jackie Ina's palette my fave the colors are popping but I'm just like I'm the person who's so scared to experiment with colors because I'm just so scared I'm gonna look like a flamingo like I don't know so I definitely this my new year's resolution is to make sure I use at least 
each one of these palettes at least once this year because they're just sitting here collecting dust and if I don't end up using it I'm gonna end up selling them tell me down in the comments which one I should use first because I really want to give you guys that maybe we could do like a separate video for each one I mean they're not new palette they're like fairly kind of like not old but current I guess they're not anything like that just came out last week but they're so current like modern palettes I guess they're not like more than years old I got all these palettes within this year so I definitely think I'm gonna make a separate video trying each palette out and then it, I'll make it like beginner friendly so It'll definitely be for, you know, girls who don't know how to do their makeup or are experimenting still with eyeshadow, which is definitely me. So I'll definitely put that in the title so you guys know this is not anything professional. This is your girl experimenting, trying. So, um, yeah, and then I got Nirvana. So these, these are the other palettes that I still have. So I have Nirvana from Anastasia. Said Jackie's palette. 390 35 G 35 bronze gold palette. Still didn't use it. I have this palette. Still didn't even use. And also in the comments, let me know who has good reviews on these palettes. So I'm gonna put this one up too. Because I wanna see. Let me know in the comments who you know has done a good review on this. So I, I can use as far as like reference. Especially for like dark women of color. I am going to get ready to go to work. Alright, I'm going to work looking like a snack. Okay. And um Yeah, I'm going I'm going to work with my my 1k hair on my head, okay? But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And we got we got more content on the way, baby. It's a new year. Straight heat. And that's that. And it's up from here, honey. It's up from here. So um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. What, what are you doing?